Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we're back for another video. So today Gale came out. We have it at 526 already. Um, we're about halfway through the day So hopefully we can get it to about 1000 today and maybe we'll think about the rank 35 push before the season is over But with that being said hot zone is also out and we're gonna be showing you guys some pretty OP Gale strats in hot zone Now I'm not sure how many of you guys have Gale how many of you guys bought the pass I'm assuming a good amount of you guys got the pass but don't have Gale yet because you do have to buy some tiers to get Gale right now but with that being said, we're going to show you guys some really cool gameplay on Hot Zone. We're going to show you guys how OP Gale is here. So let's hop into the games and let's get this going. Alright, so here we go into the first game. We're going to be going up against a Pam, I believe, Rosa, and Penny. So something you guys want to do is put a jump pad down if you're going to be playing with Gale and going for this left side. So reason being is because it's a lot harder to secure the left side because the zone is so much more higher and away from your spawn than it is on the right. So you always want to send two to the left. Um, we did end up going down pretty quickly, but that is due to the fact that we are on lane with a penny So that penny did take us out pretty easily. I'm just gonna throw that guy back because it would have taken us out Oh my god, it takes us out anyways Jig should be fine. Actually the turret does do damage So we do have a little bit of a lead right now slash is gonna be holding down that right side with M's M's is probably the best hot zone brawler. No surprise there uh, but we're going to be able to hold on to this lane. We should do a pretty good job of holding on to it now. The fact that we got two of us in here and one of us is a Mr. P, which obviously is really good for controls. We're just going to shoot this guy back. He's going to be stunned because he hits the wall. And that is Gale's star power. If you hit a wall, it is a stun with your super. So again, just going to push him back. And it's looking pretty good here. We have that right side completed. We're going to be able to complete this left any second now. And it looks like this is going to be a victory for us. Really quick first win. With that being said, I'm actually going to give you guys a little bit of information on Gale, on Hot Zone, how everything works. Just quickly show you guys everything. So let's just run back to the main menu here and kind of show you guys. Let's go to the Brawlers. I'm going to scroll down to Gale. So Gale's gadget, if, if you guys don't know, which you guys should because it's super cool, is Gale drops a bounce pad underfoot right where he is. Whichever way you're facing, that's the way, that's the direction the jump pad is going to be. Um, you can only drop one at a time, so if you have one down and then you drop another one, the other one's going to go away. If you drop one down, a goal is scored in Brawl Ball, it's going to go away. Any like kind of pause in the game is going to force this pad to go away. The star power, the one that we know of so far, is Gale Super stuns enemies that are pushed back against obstacles and hit a wall. So it's a pretty good one. Uh, could be a little bit better, but pretty decent. Now let's talk about Hot Zone, because Hot Zone actually does work a little bit differently. How Hot Zone works now is there's two zones on every single map. Some of them had one, some of them had two before. Each one has 50% that your team can hold. So say Slash goes to the right one like he did that game, and he can capture 50% of that Hot Zone. He can't go above it. He filled out our team, which is the blue team zone for that one, and he can't capture any more than 50%, so he has to come over to the left and help us with the left. So each zone, again, is 50% for your team. You have to totally um, convert You have to totally convert 50% of it in order to win the game. There is a bar on the hot zone that we will show you guys when we're in the game. So that being said, enough explaining. Let's hop into the game, and let's show you guys precisely how hot zone works now. All right, so here we go into our second game. So again, we're going to be facing a penny, which is probably good because it's a very control um, type of game mode. And obviously, penny is a very good control brawler. Oh, me and Jig just got wrecked by it. We're able to get one kill. We're going to have to back out over here, and we're going to just help Slash in this zone. So you guys can see each zone. You see this little thing. You see how red is kind of like one-tenth of the way up or whatever it is. Um, and you guys see how we have a blue one over here and this blue one is slowly ticking up and up You guys can see it covers 50% of the circle for blue and 50% of the circle for red once we've covered 50% of the zone um, I should stop explaining and try and kill this baby once we've covered 50% of the zone That's our 50% we covered it and we're gonna have to move on to the next one You guys can obviously do both at the same time, but you have to get 50% of each So we're just gonna back this guy up over here um, We're Gonna go down, but we're in a pretty good position. Um, Gale obviously is really good as a kind of a support. So you wanna just support your other teammates with Gale. You're not really gonna do too much on your own. Just gonna use that so the BB doesn't regen. We can have the health advantage here. We're gonna be able to take it out. And now we are back on this zone. Oh my God, I thought that BB bubble was gonna take us out. So it's a pretty close game right now, but it looks like we do have current position. Um, so you guys can see almost 50% here. Do we, uh, we have, Almost done. Just need a little bit more, about 2% more. And there we go. 
gonna take the w but that is how hot zone works so you guys can know i hope you guys are like just fully understanding because it took me a little bit to fully understand the hot zone changes but now that i do i'm happy i can convey the information to you guys all right so here we go into our next game we're gonna be facing another gale so again we're gonna place this jump pad on the left side we're gonna go in there with jigsaw now again gale isn't really a great brawler when it comes to taking people out when it comes to 1v1s it's a support brawler it's supposed to help out other brawlers let's move back hopefully we don't go down Again, gonna use this jump pad here jump in we're gonna use our super stun the enemy gale and there we go we are gonna be able to take it out so myself and jake are gonna be in control of this left lane over here uh, but it looks like we have someone coming towards us we're gonna go down but jigsaw is still up which is really good because we don't really need to hold down that left zone so what we're gonna be doing right now is helping slash out in the right one because it looks like he's having a little bit of difficulty here with this pam who's also a really good hot zone brawler that super is going to be able to allow us to take out the Pam, though. Jig should be able to get that. Oh, and Jig misses the shot. Can he run away? He can't, so he's going to end up going down. Uh, but we do have pretty good control right here. Oh, no, Pam. Okay, so our Wi-Fi did do a little bit of a cut, but we are back. It looks like they have full control of this zone. So we do have to get the left zone. Or, sorry, they do have full control of the left zone. So we have to fully hold on to this zone. Try not to let them in. Unfortunately, Pam and Sandy are just overpowering us right now. And Slash and Jig, unfortunately, aren't pulling out enough damage. So we are going to lose this game. Might be able to blame the Wi-Fi and a little bit of a lag spike right there. But we're not going to. We probably should have had that dub. So with that being said, let's hop into another game. Try and get that dub. All right, so here we go into our next game. Again, we're going to do the same strategy. Now, something I want to recommend to you guys if we are... If you are running Gale, is not running Mr. P. Now, although Mr. P is a really good brawler for this mode, and so is Gale, they don't really work together as they're both kind of support brawlers. They're both kind of just annoying control brawlers, and you should pair them with damage brawlers, brawlers that can do a good amount of damage, kind of like an M. So if you were to go on lane with an M's, you guys would do really good. You guys probably wouldn't lose. But unfortunately, we are not laning with the M's for this video, so it is been it has been a little bit more difficult. Probably shouldn't have uh, told you guys that at that exact moment as we are going to go down over there because we were explaining it. But again, we're just going to try and jump in. See, oh, ooh, ooh. I don't think we can take this out. We're going to push it up against the wall. Only able to hit one, but Jig should be able to get that kill. He's going to be able to. And that M's is really, really low, so Jig should be able to get that kill again. Slash doing a really good job on that right side. I'm going to jump in with Jig over here. And we have almost equal control of both sides. Slash has that right side down a little bit more than we have this left side, but it's not too far off. Just gonna push these guys away over here trying to get this uh 8 bit gonna be able to do so a little bit of lag but there we go we're gonna be able to take this win pretty convincingly so we're gonna do one more game over here let's hop into it let's see what happens hopefully we can get another dub only one loss on the video but with that being said let's hop into it and let's see what happens okay so here we go into our final game we decide we're gonna be running a daryl instead of a mr p to see how it goes i'm kind of afraid to jump into this left side with uh with the miss with the sorry not with the mr p with the penny over there we did <laughs> kind of mess up that turret placement over there and we're in a really bad spot fortunately we kind of snuck out of there um let's push this guy into slash <laughs> we're gonna kill slash there probably not our greatest play but game is still pretty close somehow so hopefully this can go better than it has gone so far let me fix my turn or my uh jump pad over here gonna have it looking straight the way it should and there we go we're gonna be able to land right in the hot zone so again not doing very good here they almost have full control of that right zone which is really scary because you know that's a really good advantage that they have over us right now uh slash is trying to clear it out he's doing an okay job i'm just chilling over here trying to hold on to this left one juking the turret and the penny at the same time going to be able to take out the penny now it looks like they're going to try and push me i'm going to push them back a little bit into jig i'm going to go down finally but it looks like slash is going to be able to hold on to that left zone pretty well so we actually are tied up now i'm going to go into this right zone here oh i don't know why slash actually no that was a good play so they have to get that left zone we have to get the right zone but we do have the lead so if it is kind of like a base race kind of format we are going to take the w um pretty good job gonna push him away just trying to stay alive in this zone as long as possible we're gonna go down jig get in there jig's gonna get in so is slash it's gonna be a really close finish but we're going to take the dub in the last game and that is going to be it so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this gale gameplay plus hot zone um i'm really enjoying gale really cool brawler so far i assume a lot of you guys don't have it but you guys will soon so i'm gonna try and pump out some gale gameplay today and tomorrow so you guys know exactly 
what to do when you guys do get that gale. But with that being said, that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys later. Peace.